Hey everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Friday, February 10, 2012, and this is an update from Zero's Garage. Um, I've been working a little bit on the uh, cap and nods device with the, uh, the, the bell-shaped ferrite core, and uh, today I decided to have a little bit of fun. And I took the high voltage circuit that's part of the generator and decided to uh, use it to power something that I've always wanted to build since I was in junior high school and, and uh, watching Boris Karloff uh, Frankenstein movies and seeing the, uh, the Jacob's Ladder in those uh, science fiction movies. Well, today I built the Jacob's Ladder and I want to show you how I built it and how it works. Alright, so this is the basic device right here. Uh, you can see you've got a um, an acrylic, a couple of pieces of acrylic tubing around the elements of the Jacobs ladder. And the reason for that is uh, the, the, the reason that the spark climbs between the two electrodes in a Jacobs ladder is because the heat that's generated by the arc that starts to occur across the, across the two electrodes actually causes the, uh, the arc to rise up between the electrodes. And it's important to keep the air around the electrodes as calm as possible in order to create very smooth rise of the uh, of the arc as it comes up between the electrodes. So that's the reason for the, the Lexan. There's no electrical reason for it other than to keep the air currents quiet around the electrodes. I'm going to remove the plexiglass or the Lexan or the acrylic, whatever you want to call it. And what I've got here is just a, a couple of pieces of stiff 12 gauge copper wire, bare copper wire, and I've straightened it out as much as, as as straight as I can possibly get it. And you'll notice the difference between the spacing at the top versus the bottom is not very great. The, at the bottom it's probably about 3 eighths of an inch, and uh, at the top it's probably about 7 sixteenths of an inch. There's probably no more than a sixteenth of an inch difference between the bottom and the top. And it's important that the that the rods be very very straight and uh, very smooth. So I got them, you know, I, I formed them by hand as best as I could. At the bottom is a piece of phenolic board with a couple of ceramic insulators, and that is what I have my uh, my solder lugs screwed down to, and my pieces of 12 gauge copper wire soldered to. The the wires that attach to it go down through the bottom of the board and then they attach to the high voltage flyback circuit that is being used as one of the primary sources for the cop and nods device. So next, let's just see how it turn, how it works. I'm just going to take, take the power here and I'm going to turn it on. And you can see the arc climbing. Now it's not climbing very well because the uh, the air, as I said earlier, is uh, being disturbed around the around the electrodes. So I'm just going to take and put the acrylic tubing back on top of the electrodes like that. You'll notice I also have a piece of electrical tape at the very top. These uh, electrodes obviously will flex a little bit. And I found that the arc itself actually exerts a physical force on the electrodes, causing them to pull together. And uh, in order to keep the spacing even, I had to put that at the top. So let's try this again. I'm going to turn it on. And there you have it. A Jacob's Ladder. childhood fantasy fulfilled. 
So that's all for now. I hope you had as much fun watching this as I did filming it and building this device. Uh, if you do decide to build one of these things, please be very, very careful. Uh, the high voltages are very dangerous and you could injure yourself very badly with these voltages. So extreme care is always advised. And uh, if you're going to play, play safe. That's all for now. Zero cost fuel. Hope everyone is well. Peace.